Metro Trains can't give any guarantees about when nine Melbourne trains with braking problems will be back on track. The operator says a special adhesive is being sourced overseas to stop the trains from sliding past stations. The offending trains have been removed from the rail network, increasing the threat of delays and cancellations as schools prepare to return for the year. Public Transport Minister Martin Pakula and Metro Trains boss Andrew Lazala went to the Newport Maintenance Yards for a hands-on inspection of the trains and the tracks. A special track adhesive is being flown from London, another chapter in seven years of braking problems with Siemens trains. Absolutely, it's a very common solution to a very common problem. Yeah. But there's no timeline for the arrival of the track superglue. Trains will be back on the rails when they're past fit to ride. The braking problems coincide with public transport becoming a major issue in the Altona by-election caused by the sudden resignation of former Transport Minister Lynn Kosky. The Liberals in Labor heartland talking up the cancellation of just one morning train. Traditional Labor voters come up to us this morning and saying they're sick to death of the failure of this government. And the Greens unveiled their candidate, 45-year-old small businessman David Strangwood, campaigning about the lack of buses for commuters in Point Cook. They're forced onto the motor car and we can't continue to impose that on the, on the people in this electorate or any others. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.